a Solacer Vision! Yeah, I, I couldn't resist. Okay, um... Ow, oh, okay. Welcome to Solace Vision, where we are playing Super Mario Star Road. You may notice that my health is already decreased. The reason for that is because every time I um, finish recording, I do a save state so I can keep my life count at the number that it was when I saved. The reason for that is because every time you load the game, your life counter resets to three. I don't want my lives to keep resetting, so because of that I'm doing save states to you know keep things the way they were before. And it also saves your health as well when you do a save state. Um, this is an old game that hadn't yet um, got to the point where they could have uh, preserved life count. But, oh well. So there we go. I promise you, I'm not using. I'm only using save states between recordings. I'm not using them during recordings to save lives because, you know, that's cheating. It's unfair. I want to, like, I don't want to make this game too easy. So without further ado, we're going to go into Gloomy Garden and find the Vanish Cap so that we can finish off the first two levels. Um, and it's definitely in this level because uh, I talked to an NPC in, um, like, a bob -omb near the start and they said it was in here. So, ah. Uh, Believe me, I am good at Mario. I am good. That was not representative of my usual skill level, prom I promise you. Alright, so let's go <laughs> back into the secret tunnel and not mess up that jump. There we go. And uh, into the grave. Don't you touch me. Oh, I'm going to kill you for that. Into the grave. And I'm fairly sure that it's um, in here because I can't think anywhere else it would be. I don't think it's over there. There's a star over there. W where do I go from here? I, I, I don't know. C can the ghost give me a hint? Follow the light. Okay, so I'll just follow the light and then it should be here. I I'm hitting the wall here. Uh, what? Ah, oh, here we go. Here's our bonus level. Our vanish cap stage. The bonus level. That was very well hidden. It's very well hidden. You can easily miss that. So you have to just follow the light and then turn the corner. It's there. And the switch is just here, so it's very easy. The, the Goomba is in my frame here. You just step on the Vanish Cup switch. It you know, makes Mario disappear. They will pop out of all the blue blocks that we, um, we hit with our head. So let's do that first. I nearly fell off. This is uh, not the easiest platforming here. There we go. So we got a Vanish Cup again. And there is a star on this stage, just like... Um, all the other um, like bonus stages in this game. There is a star. I don't see any red coins around here though. Uh, what does this switch do? Okay, the switch seems to have created a beam of light. Um, what? Secrets. Okay, it's um, a secret thing. Um, Alright, so we activate the beams of light and then we just go towards the... What, what? Why are you sliding? Okay, so we have to like, jump and then activate the secrets. Okay. There's another one over here. Three. Ow. Yeah, okay, so it's very simple. We just have to, like, touch the beams of light. We need the Vanish Cup again. I don't know where the other two are. There's one over there, okay. Are there any, um, through here? Yeah, there is. There's one over here. Come on. Um, I don't know if there are any light beams over there. I'm gonna, like, check back afterwards. I mean, actually, no, there can't be because there's only five of them. No, 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 don't throw, don't you dare, no, no, no! Okay, we're back. Um, I've got to get the secrets again, which I am not happy about. I do remember that there's one there, so that's good. Um, I need to be more careful and not hit the Chukya, because the Chukya doesn't want me to be here. Two, don't you, don't you pick me up, don't you dare. Um, we don't need the Vanish Cup again, but I'm just getting it again anyway. Um, so... The last, like, thing, beam of light, should be around here somewhere. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that's that's three. I need to know, remember where the other two are. I, can always hit, I need to hit, like, the switch again. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's, there's one over here and then just over here. Very easy. I mean, it should be easy. But I got on the wrong side of a chuck here and that cost me my... No! Mamma mia. I am good at Mario games, I swear. I promise you I'm good at these games. It's just sometimes things go awry and accidents happen. Okay, there's the start again. Can we please not make an embarrassing failure? Yes, get out of my way. 
Now I remember why I don't like Gloomy Garden. It's because of this level. <laughs> Alright. Right. Don't touch me, Chuck. Yeah, don't touch me. Here we go. Star. Good. Okay, we're done. I'm down to six lives already. It's about time I got some more. One of the secret stars. There's a... Yeah, there's a Vanish Cap box here. Um, I don't know what it's for, though. Um... Is there anything that we can go through, like, with, um... Mario's invincibility? Maybe you have to go through a door or something, then there's, like, a cage? I don't know. Um... Okay, I don't actually remember what we have to do with that Vanish Cap box, but I will look into it later. For now, let's just go back inside Bobble Islands and get Deep Dive in the cage, which is a very, very easy star. All we have to do is just climb on top of there, get the box, and swim downwards. I remember, it's very easy. There we go. And swimming down. There's a bunch of amps in the water, but they can't hurt us because we're swimming too fast. And get the star. There we go. And the first level is done. Deep dive in the cage. Now let's go, let's head on over to the second level and get the two stars are there. And we, after that, we're going to go into the boss level. I think it's about time that we did. Get in there. Okay. The flying stepping stones. Now we could have done this, um, like a while back. Because, um, the vanish cap isn't required for this. Uh, the metal cap's required, but not the, the, um, the vanish cap. So, um, okay, I need to wait, wait for the next lift. So yeah, let's just do that right now. Let's not hit by the fly guy. <laughs> I was too quick for you. Right, so past the womp, and then just a simple long jump to here. Um, now, I remember this being quite difficult. Um, there's another fly guy there that we definitely don't want to get hit by. There we go. Now, the flying stepping stones, basically it's a bunch of um, platforms made out of um, metal cap blocks. So, uh, we don't want to get hit by a fly guy. I see what yeah I see what he's doing and I'm not happy about it. Okay, so I'm gonna, just going to jump on you. There we go. He's out of the picture. Now I need to be very very careful with my jumps here. Turn the camera. I'm being very cagey because I don't want to like mess up. I've died too many times in this episode already. Okay, there's our star. Good. That wasn't so hard. The flying stepping stones. 36 stars. Uh, yeah, it's all looking good. It's all looking good. Now let's go back in and get the Vanish Cap star. Behind the underwater gate. Yeah, this is very easy as well. You just have to, like, become invisible and swim underwater. And it's over here. Let's just uh, jump up these platforms. Don't you don't you dare knock me off. I am going to hunt you down. Alright, whatever. Um, this bob -omb says, I'm so glad that Big brood is gone. I'll beginning they spelt that wrong to think I'd never see the sunlight again all right that's good uh, there's also another bomb over yeah there's another bomb over here over there I don't actually need to talk to them I'm just talking to them just because you know I'm interested to see what they say when it comes to RPG games always like to talk to NPCs and get all the dialogue out of them because you never know what little um, Easter eggs you may find it's so peaceful to just sit down by the pond and watch the fish swim around yeah, it is. I concur. I've ne never actually been fishing in my life. Um, I probably won't ever go fishing because the idea of, you know, picking up fish from the river or the pond or wherever, or the lake, and then throwing them back, you know, it doesn't sound too appealing to me, like, dealing with all these, like, you know, wildlife, you know, removing them from their habitat and throwing them back. It's like disturbing the natural order of things, you know. But that's just my opinion. If you like fishing, then go ahead. So that was behind the underwater gate. Um, there probably are a couple more stars to get around the castle grounds, but for now I'm just going to go into the boss level. Which is right in here. So, uh, yeah, the boss level, Bowser's Slippery Swamp. So this is the first Bowser level, we're going to be uh, taking him on. Um, we want to avoid falling into the swamp because I think that's like a one hit kill, like um, quicksand there. We don't want to fall in there. So I think we just go over here, right? Is this the way to the, the, the boss level? Like, the actual pipe that leads us to the boss itself? Um, there's a star here. Um, yeah, there's a star. So um, I think each boss level contains its own star, like, as well. So that's like the bonus star. That's not the... We haven't actually beaten the level. 
Bowser's slippy stomp clear and he's like throwing a key for some reason. We haven't beaten the level, he's just doing the, the key throwing animation. We have not actually beaten the level there, but okay. Let's go back in, we haven't beaten the boss. That was just the uh, the extra star that each um, Bowser level contains. Strangely enough, there aren't any red coins here. Normally, in the original 64, the boss levels contain red coins to collect, but I don't think there are any in uh, this one. Oh god, more bats. Bats in video games are mostly... Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I'll take that. What the? Where am I? Um... I'll, no, the camera is failing me. Get back in there, you. Oh god, I nearly died there. Okay, um... Let's not mess around. There are a few exceptions. There are a couple of good bats in video games, mostly like protagonists and, you know, but, um... They're mostly just, like, annoying little enemies that, you know, get in your face and you have to kill them. Because otherwise they'll just make your... play session really uncomfortable. Um, so let's just, uh, go up here. Yeah, I remember this, like, the back of my hand, this level. This is, like, one level that I do remember, like, off by heart. Ow. I'm taking loads of damage here. Look, would you just, like, get out my face? I'm trying to, like, beat Bowser here. Is that too much to... Oh, come on. I think we need to do, like, a double jump here. Or not. Yeah, or, or we could just fall off. Yeah, that's fine. Falling off. Um, right. One and two. There we go. And then we just continue along this path, I believe. Yeah, this all this all makes sense to me. Get out my way. Turn the camera. And there should be, yeah, there's a pipe that is leading to the uh wasn't it a box over there? I think it's just a one-up or something. This is the boss. Um Bowser himself doesn't appear yet, he only appears at the very end of the game. In the original we fight Bowser three times, in this game we only fight him once, I think. Too bad I couldn't... Okay. <clears throat> Too bad I couldn't stop by to talk to you in person, Mario. But I'm a little busy taking over the Mushroom Kingdom to deal with pests like you. Instead, why don't you meet the per pernicious piranha plants? Just be warned, they have quite an appetite for pesky plumbers. <laughs> Alright, so, um... What we have to do, we need to destroy these five... Giant piranha plants that are coming out these pipes. And we need to be careful because we're once again dealing with um, one hit kill poisonous um, acid. So, you know, we don't want to fall in there or we have to like do the whole thing over again. I'm just trying to get the jump right so that I don't end up bonking and then falling down. Um, this is where the camera becomes a bit of, um, you know, it's a bit uh, adverse. No, no. I've died so much in this episode, I can't believe it. Okay, so we're back outside the, the, the pipe leading to the boss by itself, which is good. They're not going to kick us out the whole level. Yeah, 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 you've already told me. Okay, let's, um, we're going to start with the hard one. The one that I'm doing right here is the hard one because the platforms are very, like, narrow. And it's quite easy to fall down, so let's get this one out of the way. I think, I think we can get up there by doing a side flip. There you go. Um, we definitely want to be careful around here. I mean, look at these jumps. These are, This is where the game starts to get hard. Right, so turn. Zoom in. You have to like, manipulate the camera a bit to get this right. Okay, that's that's that done. There's a fly guy there. Can we use that fly guy? Yes, we can. We can use the fly guy to make, take a quick shortcut back to the... The main section of the level. Okay, there's another one up here. Let's uh, not get in the way of anything. There we go. That's, that one's like the easiest one of, of the five, I think. Actually, no, the one in the middle is the easiest one of the five, I think. This one's not so bad right here. It's just like a thin um, walkway. You have to be careful not to slip off. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, God, that was so... Um, I'm so thankful that I actually survived there. I, I could literally see myself falling in. I can't believe we're already down to four lives. Today has not been my day for playing Mario, but I'm doing it anyway because, you know, it's more entertaining that way. And I've been meaning to, like, get, you know, get a move on with this Let's Play and not, like, drag it out too long. I want to get onto other stuff. Bigger and better stuff for this channel, man. Alright, so there's another one up there. You just have to, like, run past the wind and then, you know, you've done it. Um, 
And then we just have to do, do the one in the middle and then we should be home free. So let's not mess up embarrassingly and play it safe. And here we go. Right. Jump. There we go. And we've cooled them all. And there's our key. Take it. Here we go! Oh yeah, we, 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 we beat that level. Okay. It wasn't easy, but um, we did it. Bowser Slippery Swamp clear. Save and continue. Um, yeah, let's go back out. Before I go into the main like building, which is where all the rest of the stars are, I want to do a little bit of looking around because I think there's like more to this hub world than like actually um, that I haven't seen yet. So um, I haven't like been in the water section. Like, what's over here? There's an island over there. Does this island lead to anything? It's been years since I um, like played this game, so I do apologise if like everything that's obvious to you isn't quite as clear to me. What's this sign say? Read the sign. Some say that if you collect 120 power stars and pray to the star spirits from this spot by pressing C, something good will happen. Okay, so that's um, like a bonus level that you get from collecting all the stars. We're a long way off from that yet. Although 38 stars, we're doing well. It's just uh, the stars get harder, so um, the rate at which you collect them will slow down. So I think if you follow the river like around to the other side, there's another level over there. Hey Toad, <laughs> you found your spaghetti yet? Probably not. So I think if we go, yeah, if we go over here, there should be a bonus level over here. I want to like do this before I go into the um, into the like the main building. Yeah, here we go. Here's a pipe, and here's a bonus level. Mushroom Mountain Town. I remember this place. Yeah, I do remember this place now. Yeah, it's actually a very well designed uh, level. It's, it's, it's not it's not, not it's not a main level, so there, there's only two stars here. But there's like all these mushroom houses and everything. This is it's very nice. Um, so here's Cooper the Quick. You have to race him to get a star. Nice to see you again, Mario. It sure has been a while. How about a race? First to the top of the mountain. Yes, let's go. Yeah, I remember the music as well. This is um, from Mario Kart. I think, is it Mario Kart um, Double Dash or something? One of the Mario Kart games they took it um, from. So we have to be careful here not to, uh, like... Oh, he's taking a shot. He's going the other way. All right. No, 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 no. Okay, that's close. Okay. Um, clearly, um, I'm channeling my skills from before of, of doing this race. I remember like doing this over and over again because falling down. If you fall down and like and you lose the race, you have to like leave the level and come back. You can't just restart straight away. This is an old game. Well, it's a, it's a hack of an old game. So um, there's no like. Um, Thing. Like, there's no mechanic for instantly starting again. Okay, we won. That race is nowhere near as hard as I remember it, to, remember it being. Okay, so, give me my star. Whoa, you completely stopped my record. I promise I'll train extra hard for our next race. Here's your prize. Okay, so we'll just climb up the flagpole and grab the star. There we go. Here we go! Ooh, that will never get old. Okay, so now we're going to go back in and get some red coins. And then I think we're going to leave it there. I know we've only got like seven stars in this episode. It's not really that much, but um, it's, all that, um, it's all that I feel like doing for now. Because, you know, in the next episode we'll be going inside the, like, the star tower. And there's like a whole bunch of other levels to do in there. And, you know, that, that's, you know it's going to be exciting, I can tell you. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't even know where these red coins... I know where some of them are, I just don't know where... Uh, oh, there's one up there, I think. So let me just uh, get the, this one. Careful. Oh, almost. Oh, there's another, yeah, there's another red coin over there. Let, let me just take a look around. There's one on that mushroom, there's one on that mushroom, one on that stone pillar. There's one over there by that mushroom house. Can I, um, how do I get that? Ow, okay. I wasn't trying to stomp downwards, but, uh, oh well. I think I can get that by doing, like, a triple jump or something. Let's try that. One, two, three. Yes, okay. You have to do a triple jump and then a dive, and then you can get there. Okay, um. Let's just get the rest now. I think the rest are very simple. We just have to just walk around. There's one on top of this uh, little, um, hill here. 
Don't, yeah, get off the tree. There's a tele... What does this do? This teleporter. Yeah, it's a teleporter. Yeah. Okay, uh, we don't want to go back there. Let's go back. Um, where are the others? I think there's... Yeah, there's one inside the water here. Four, and then I think the rest are, like, on top of a mountain. So, uh... There's one on top of that mushroom, and, um... Oh, yeah, okay, let's just get the ones over here first. Yeah, this music that's playing right now, this comes from, um... The Wind Waker... Ow. This comes from The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Um, not one of my favourite Zelda games, but it's alright. It's got some good moments. I don't think there are, like, that enough dungeons in the game. In terms of dungeons, the game is very light on them. And what dungeons they do have are pretty annoying. Like, there's one, I think the Wind Temple is one that I have very bad memories of. Because there's this, this um, little grass cork character called Makar. He's like a Korok, which is like a, a leafy, um, seedy type creature. I can't really describe what it looks like. And you have to carry him all throughout the, the Wind Temple. And it, it's very easy to lose him because the wind just blows you around everywhere. And uh, yeah, I really don't like um, the Wind Temple. And it, it's kind of tarnished my memories of Wind Waker. Um, but it's, it's a good game overall. It's uh, definitely worthy, in my opinion. It's not my least favourite. I'm not that fond of Bajora's Mask. You know, as you know, I love Ocarina of Time. I'm playing the Randomizer right now. Um, yeah, the last red coin's over there. Um, Majora's Mask I'm not too fond of because the mechanics of, like, constantly having to, like... Basically, Majora's Mask, you have, like, three days, um, three in-game days to beat the game. And if you don't beat it in time, the moon crashes down and, uh, like, you get instant game over. And you have to, like, use your Ocarina to, like, go back in time constantly and, like, reset the timeline and just do things. It's not my favourite mechanic, um, personally. So Majora's Mask, I don't really like that as much as Ocarina of Time. Twilight Princess is awesome. That's one of my favourites and, in, like, and always will be. Okay, where's the star? There it is. Scarred Sword, pretty good, I guess. Breath of the Wild, again, awesome. And there's our star. And I think we're going to leave it there. So, one of the secret stars. Thank you very much for watching this part of the... Super Mario Star Road Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment on the video. Like the video if you like what you're seeing. Follow me on social media and I'll see you in the next part. So, thank you for tuning into Solid Vision.